So far we've made a world that just consists of land and maybe some water. We can do all sorts of different kinds of land, but to make it come alive and make it seem more like a real world, we need to put in objects. The object tool is this one, and this little fellow here is called a kodu. In this video, we're just going to concentrate on objects for decoration. So, I click on the object tool, and then I click where I want it placed and it gives me all sorts of options. So for example, I click on tree and then I can select the kind of tree that I want. And there we are, there is my tree. Let's have another one and let's have this kind of tree and another one. Once you've selected the tree, you can do all sorts of things to it. So if you right click on it, you can, for example, rotate the tree so that it appears slightly differently. So it's a different way round. There we are. You can see I'm rotating the tree. Also, you can change the size of the tree. So you can make it a really big tree, or you can make it a tiny tree, just like this. And so you can get a lot more variety into your level. You can also change the height of the tree. So that is the height above the ground. So you can see it's going up or going down. Why you would want trees in the middle of the air, I don't know. But then again, you lot are quite creative. So we'll have to see what happens. You can also copy trees. And then when you right click somewhere else, you can paste a tree like that. And you can do other things in the settings as well. So the settings give you all kinds of ideas about uh, size and how bouncy something is, how much damage it is, and if it's invulnerable, which means you can't destroy it. The last thing I want to show you with the tree is if you just hover over it, you can use the left and right mouse buttons to actually change the color of the tree can't see it very well from this angle let's try one of the others so you can see that has now become an orange tree or a red tree you can in fact use this to make a mushroom by selecting a tree that looks like this and then changing the size and going right down as you can see it looks a bit like a mushroom so as well as trees there's all sorts of other objects in here so you can have apples, and again, you can change the color of your apple, you can change the size, and so on. You can have things like pipes. There's all sorts of things for underwater. And you can also have rocks, and you get to choose what kind of rock there is. And there we are. Let's have a nice sedimentary rock. And we can change the color of our rock by just hovering over it and just saying oh well let's have a nice brown rock again you can change the size so you can have a really big rock and so on and so forth there's also things in here like houses and you can add things like footballs so if i zoom out a bit let's add a football over here and there's things like coins, the usual kind of stuff that you find in games. So, when we start the game, oh, the land's gone, so I need to repaint in the land, but still. Uh, you can tell that when I restart the game, there we are. So you can make quite nice little worlds. You can also add in characters. And that's just done by clicking in and perhaps we'll have a Kodu character. We'll do more characters and programming in another video.